Well, with all eyes on India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, understanding the significance of the mission becomes all the more important. The instruments deployed on the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover have designated roles to play and their discoveries could have a long-lasting impact on human space exploration endeavors. Uh, let's take a look at what is going to happen after Chandrayaan-3's moon descent. Upon successful uh, soft landing on the moon's so south pole, Chandrayaan-3 will open the Vikram lander and dispatch the Pragyan rover onto the lunar surface. The rover is going to leave uh, imprints of the Indian national flag as well as the ISRO's logo on the lunar surface. Here's what the rover's instruments are going to do. The rover is carrying two kinds of spectrometers to understand the lunar surface a surface's composition. A spectrometer is a scientific instrument which uses different types of light waves to analyze the chemical composition of the substance. In this case, the moon's surface, one is a laser spectrometer and the other is an X-ray spectrometer. Elemental analysis of the lunar soil is expected to serve several purposes. The instruments are going to look for water on the moon's surface. This as discovery of the water source is crucial for all future human missions. If the water ice exists in sufficient quantities, it could be a source of drinking water for those exploring the moon. It would help cool their equipment as well as additionally, it could also be uh, broken down to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe, supporting missions to Mars and lunar mining. Next, the spectrometer will also search for metals like aluminium, magnesium, silicon, iron. Uh, these metals which are pivotal for all future on-site construction prospects. But the scientific community is most excited about one particular substance and that is helium-3. Helium-3 has potential as a fuel for advanced nuclear fusion reactions for perspective. Nuclear fusion is the same process that powers the sun and other stars. If harnessed on earth, it would provide a nearly limitless, limitless, I beg your pardon, and clean source of energy without the radioactive waste associated with the current nuclear fission reactions. If water is detected along with useful metals at the lunar surface, it will trigger a new race to the moon and the South Pole will become one of the most viable and desirable places for setting up temporary as well as permanent settlements on the moon. The aspirations of the planet's scientific community continue to ride on ISRO's ambitious mission. If successful, Chandrayaan holds the potential to become an iconic space mission. It will also position India's humble space agency as a force to re reckon with among the stars. And our senior, uh, senior correspondent Siddharth MP is now joining us live for the latest on the Chandrayaan 3. So Siddharth, uh, you know, we've been talking about the importance, the significance of this uh, Chandrayaan 3 landing. It's just a few hours away. Much anticipation uh, within the scientific community. Tell us more. Yeah, so ISRO in fact is highly anticipating Chandrayaan 3's successful lunar landing. So over the last one week we've seen ISRO scientists exude uh, confidence on various fora, be it the convocation of India's own Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology which itself is one of the sister organizations of ISRO. That's where one of the center directors of ISRO clearly mentioned that a uh, feather like soft landing is what ISRO is looking forward to on 23rd August which is tomorrow. Let's also keep in mind that uh, there's less than 24 hours to go and tomorrow perhaps by this time we'll be celebrating the success of Chandrayaan 3's lunar landing. That's how close we've gotten. A 40 day journey of the spacecraft has almost come to a close. There's just one final lap to go. Uh, for the last couple of days the spacecraft has been in a constant orbit 25 kilometers by 134 kilometers and from there it's just a matter of one command being issued and rest the spacecraft will autonomously carry out its soft landing as per its prefed commands bear we. Right uh, Siddharth thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there of course we will come back to you for more.